Why you don't you tell him that? Why you want me to tell them that? He going here tonight, seven o'clock. Tell him now. The old sunset shows. He going here tonight, seven o'clock. When all you done and all you got hope. Tell the man now when all you ain't done. That's right. Just want to take them down, don't take me down half of up here. Just make sure I'm going to take them half of here. How come you're driving? How come you're driving? Come.
friends and such than Mr. Ryan and Mr. Mr. Jiram Agbada Ali Bhai. I wonder if the question the Minister of National Security. More on this place. Long time. The present minister national security. We say here in the last party, we see the woman alive. And the police ain't picking up yet. The Caribbean community for the moment, the formal position of head of the Caribbean community, and we are both young men in this Caribbean civilization, which both of us are committed to ennobling. And I responded to that call. I'll be back here with the ODD. We had a discussion for about an hour and 40 minutes. It began just five minutes to 12 and we finished at five, 25 to 1, 25 to 2, sorry. And uh, we discussed the crisis in the country and possible solutions, the range of which I have addressed publicly. And I spoke to, to them in the same terms. I wouldn't want to say more than that at this time and it would be improper for me to say anything further. Okay, but you would be going to the ODD and uh, would... I will speak to the leaders of the ODD. Well, you know, I believe in man there is good and evil. And uh, there, are, there are often intentions. And I believe that... Before you go... Yes, 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 yes. We are our our position. We are committed to that position. Not to cut you off, Bing, but we now see the Honourable uh, Ken Boy and uh, Honourable Starkey John. They have just gone into a meeting with leader Dr. Ravens. Have any comments on that? I think that the CARICOM team should see all persons whom, in their own judgment, they ought to see. Dr. Gonza, what feelings are you getting now from the leaders, um, from the both prime ministers? They they would have had discussions this morning um, with members of the cabinet. What are the, what are the moods right now? The four persons with whom I met, I know them very well. Prime Minister Douglas, I know very well. I also know Prime Minister Pandio, Basdio Pandi. I know them for years, and I consider them friends. Professor Edward Green and I taught at the University of the West Indies together in the same faculty. And I know Mr. Morris King, who is an esteemed Queen's Council. I know him as a lawyer, and I know him also as involvement in politics. I know him from the days when I taught at University of Barbados. So that you would expect that our discussions would have been very friendly and cordial. Well, what, is, what, what are you ultimately hoping to achieve from these discussions today? The resolution of the political crisis in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And by that, would that would be? Well, I've stated it already. Fresh elections within the... Sunset shores. Mm. Ready? Ready. The Sunset Shores Hotel was the backdrop for several meetings held today between the key players of the. Ah, let me start off again. You met me cut, cut. Ready? Go. Mm. Okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight. The Sunset Shores Hotel was the backdrop for several meetings held today between a CARICOM delegation and key players in the current political crisis here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The delegation led by Dr. Denzel Douglas, CARICOM president. Let me go again, man. I missed it. I had it all written down, but I'm messing it up, ain't I? You ready? Yeah, one more time. 
The Sunset Shores Hotel was the backdrop for several meetings held today between a CARICOM delegation and key players in the current uh, political crisis here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The CARICOM delegation led by CARICOM chairman Dr. Denzel Douglas, Prime Minister of St. Kitts Nevis, and Paz Diopande, Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago, also included Dr. Maurice Green, an advisor to CARICOM and I forget the people name. Okay. Ready? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. The Sunset Show. One, two, three, four, five. The Sunset Shores Hotel was the backdrop for several meetings held earlier today between a CARICOM delegation and key players in the current political crisis here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The delegation led by Dr. Denzel Douglas, Chairman of CARICOM and Pres Prime Minister of St. Kitts Nevis, also included Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago, Bas Diopande, and Dr. Edward Green, advisor. That's too many ands because I, I should have gone and just flowed. So take five again. The Sunset Shores Hotel was a backdrop for several meetings held earlier today between a CARICOM del... Oh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The Sunset Shores Hotel was the backdrop for several meetings held earlier today between a CARICOM delegation and key players in the current political crisis here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The CARICOM delegation, led by Dr. Denzel Douglas, Chairman of CARICOM and Prime Minister of St. Kitts Nevis, also included Prime Minister Bas Diopande of Trinidad and, and Tobago, Dr. Edward Green, an advisor to CARICOM, and Maurice King, a former Attorney General of Barbados. That's about what I want here. So let me just do it one more time. It was all right there, but I, I could do it without some flaws now. The Sunset Shores Hotel was the backdrop for several meetings held earlier today between a CARICOM delegation and key players in the current political crisis here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The CARICOM delegation was led by Dr. Denzel Douglas, Chairman of CARICOM and Prime Minister of St. Kitts Nevis. It also included Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago, Bas Diopande, and Dr. Edward Green, an advisor to CARICOM, and also Maurice King, a former Attorney General of Barbados. I'd go with that. And I'm going to do the, the rest voice over when I finish. And we can show the footage of them coming in. We can, when, after we'll have Prime Minister and arrive at East Joshua Airport, and we can have them at the airport. It's SPD TV's nightline news, or evening news. SPD TV evening news. What? Reporting for SVD TV's evening news, I'm Hans King. One Reporting for SVG TV's Evening News, I'm Hans King. Or, I, let me. Okay. Hans King reporting for SVG TV's Evening News. That's all right? Yeah. It's transpired from that meeting. Well, we had a long, cordial discussion. Most of these are people that we've known from years and we reestablished contact and given our side how we see things but you know there are things we discussed that I don't think we